Okay, so Ron, so how important is it to ensure that you're using the right lubricants to service these modern vehicles? Well, you can appreciate that the Australian car market is, is huge. It's one of the most complicated in the world. And we expect it to grow even further with the introduction of new brands and also new technologies. Currently, there are over 60 manufacturers selling vehicles here in Australia. That's a lot of cars. It is indeed, it is. And that poses a particular challenge to an oil company because there's very little adoption in um, uniform technologies. Um, in other words, manufacturers, uh, they like to do their own thing. Yeah. Okay. So they demand a lubricant that's actually designed specifically for their vehicles. You have to also remember that not too long ago, a workshop could get away with having only one or two engine oils. Yeah. Okay. Different grades. Yeah. Different grades. Yeah. Um, those days are long gone, right? So selecting the right lubricant is really important. And it's important when you're servicing a vehicle for a number of reasons. First of all, it preserves the um, performance of the car as far as power is concerned, as far as uh, fuel efficiency. Also preserves exhaust treatment systems like DPFs. Using the correct lubricant also preserves the resale value of the vehicle. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So when it comes to sale time, a potential buyer would want to look at the service history of that car and they would want to see that the, it had been serviced correctly at regular intervals using the correct lubricants. And finally, it's about maintaining the manufacturer's warranty. Okay. The advice that I give um, to customers, to workshops, and to workshop owners and mechanics and the like is that um, selecting and using the correct lubricant is probably the easiest and cheapest thing that you can do um, when you're maintaining a customer's vehicle. Yeah. So it makes sense to get it right. Provides consistency. And it's interesting, you said you've been in the industry for 10 years, Ron, but if we go back, so much has happened yeah. in 10 years, just in regards to new brands, new players, new vehicles, new formats of vehicles coming to the market. You would have seen a big change just in your role in 10 years.